Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's What You Want Wednesday. Today's recipe request comes in from the user Mace X Kirby and they've asked me to make some chicken pot pies. So let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So the first thing that we're going to do guys is roast our chicken. Now I've got some chicken thigh cutlets here which means they're still on the bone. Now I just prefer to use this meat because it's the dark meat and that's got the real flavour. But if you want to use the chicken breast or even if you want to make this even quicker for yourself you can buy a already roasted chicken and just shred the meat off. So just onto a roasting tray I've got some baking paper and I'm going to drizzle some olive oil over and just place the thigh fillet straight onto the tray. And again, just over the top, just drizzle some olive oil and season really well with some salt and some pepper. Now this goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees C and we're gonna pop it in there and roast it for 20 to 25 minutes. So we're gonna get started on our gravy that's gonna go into our chicken pies. So I've just got a heavy saucepan on the stove and I'm gonna add in some olive oil. And the first thing that I'm going to pop in to start our gravy off is I've got some bacon that I've just chopped up into chunks, just add it straight in. Next I'm going to add in some leek. And next some button mushrooms that I've just cut in half. Now guys, you just want to cook this off until the leek and the mushrooms have just started to soften. So just softening those leeks and mushrooms will only take you about three minutes guys on a high heat. So we've just turned the heat down to medium and now I'm going to deglaze the pan. I've just got some chicken stock. And to the chicken stock I'm going to add in some cream. And guys at this stage you just want to season with some pepper. You don't want to season with salt because the bacon in there is already quite salty. So guys I've got the heat down low and I only want to cook this for about one to two minutes just to warm through that chicken stock and the cream. And what I want you to do after that is just mix up some corn flour with some water and just add it in. And what's that gonna do? It'll just thicken up that mixture. And while that's thickening up, I'm gonna add back in our roasted chicken. And you'll see guys, just give it a stir. And this will only take two to three minutes and you'll find that it will really start to thicken up into this beautiful chicken gravy mixture. Okay, so turn off the heat and now we're gonna start assembling our pot pie. Now guys, you could serve this as one complete pie. You don't have to make it individual ones like I'm going to do. I've just got some small to medium sized ramekins just like that, but like I said, if you wanna use this in a normal big pie dish and just make one pie, go for it. So I'm just gonna ladle in our chicken mixture. And guys, when you're cutting up your ingredients, just make sure they're nice and chunky as well because you want that in a pie. You don't want just gravy. You want some nice, chunky, hearty pieces of chicken, leek, bacon. Now guys, of course we're gonna put some pastry on the top and I've just cut a circle of puff pastry. Now I always cut about a centimeter over the rim so I can tuck it under. And guys, just using your hands, just roll it just like that until the edges stick. And guys, I'm just putting a simple leaf pattern down just to decorate the top of the pie. You don't have to do that, but it just makes the presentation look a bit nicer. Okay, just a quick stab with the fork so the pastry can breathe. Over the top guys, what I'm doing, I've just got an egg wash and just brush it over the top of the pies. And that will just give it a beautiful golden crust on the top. So guys, these bad boys are now ready for the oven and they go in at 180 degrees C and just remember, everything is cooked in there, we just want the pastry to get nice and golden brown. It should only take 10 to 15 minutes, but make sure you keep watching the pastry and don't let it burn. So guys, we've pulled out our chicken pies and let me tell you, they smell amazing and I cannot wait to get stuck into this. So look at that pastry, just beautiful. So we're gonna crack open the pastry on the top and it's gonna, oh, 
Look at all those beautiful chunks of chicken, bacon, leek, the mushrooms. Here we go. Oh. Mm. oh man. Guys, you must give this a go. It's perfect for dinner parties because it's quick and easy to do and make sure you give it a go. If you want to, all the ingredients are below as always. You guys take care and I'll see you this Friday for Fast Food Friday. So until then, take care.